Yo, so for the last month, I've been waking up daily at around 8 a.m. I've wanted the 6 a.m. morning routine, but I fail almost every time. Right when I wake up, I head down to my office, sometimes making a coffee before heading in. I can't recommend getting a physical timer enough. This keeps me off my phone in the morning so that I'm not overstimulating my brain when just waking up. I've used a journal on and off for three years, but I find that the times where I'm writing in here consistently are when I feel the best and have the most clarity on my goals. As to what I write in here, it's mostly establishing what I need to do for the day and writing down any information from podcasts or videos that I listened to the previous day. I've wrote a weekly newsletter since September about my creator business, how I'm growing it, and the lessons I'm learning along the way. I spend 20 minutes just dumping whatever ideas I have to hopefully spark potential topics to write about for the week. After this, I just read for 15 minutes. Most recently, I finished Ali Abdal's Feel Good Productivity. The biggest benefit I've found though is how it improves my focus. Throughout these first 50 minutes and the rest of my workday, I don't listen to any music or podcasts. I'll still turn something on while I'm driving or going to the gym, but when I work, I just don't want to be distracted in any way. Now, once my morning routine is finished, I start work on my business, this YouTube channel. I've been making videos for about three years now and am fortunate enough that all of the hard work is beginning to pay off. By this time, it's around 9 a.m. and depending on the day, the work I do will be different. Typically, my process is that on Monday I script, Tuesday through Thursday I'm filming, and then Friday and Saturday I edit and finish off the video. I'm a one-man show, so this entire process takes around 30 hours each week. Pretty much whenever I'm not working my part-time job or at the gym, I'm making these videos. Up until 11, 11.30, I'll work on the channel, and then quickly make some breakfast and shower. So after I shower, I come up here to change, you can see a lot of this stuff still has tags on it because I've just been rebuying my entire wardrobe. Just some solid colored t-shirts, pairing it with sweaters, chinos, and jeans because as easy as just wearing a hoodie is, it's really all I've been wearing for a while and so I want to dress a little bit nicer. At noon, I start working my part-time job as a front-end developer and I've been at my company for nearing six months. After work, I try to make a shake or have something to eat very quickly and then head to the gym. So I'm driving home from the gym now. It's 9.30, so a little bit later than I'm usually getting home, but today was legs and I didn't film myself just because it felt kind of weird. But what I usually do is push pull legs, push pull legs, and then I take a rest day. I've been doing that for like three months now and it's worked pretty well. At this point, I come back into the office and finish up whatever work I didn't get to in the morning. I moved out about four months ago, and so having my own place has been really nice. The way my apartment's set up is that the downstairs is a kitchen, bathroom, and then one room which I use as my office. The upstairs is just a massive attic that I haven't done much to, but is what I use as my bedroom slash living room. Having a separate space from my room to work has been an absolute lifesaver. Even though I'm still in the same house, having a separate place to work than where I sleep has actually had a huge impact on my productivity. When I'm in here, I'm just doing work, and I've laid out my workspace to be almost entirely free of distractions. You can of course use your phone, but I like having a physical timer just because I know I'm not going to get distracted having this on my desk. I rarely need to use it as a Pomodoro timer, but for something like reading where I just want to focus for a specific amount of time, it's perfect. I found that the easiest way to focus at my desk is simply removing anything that could possibly distract me. So my phone is on a different table and I've changed around some settings on my MacBook. I usually have a focus mode on that silences all of my notifications and I've cleared out my dock of anything non-essential. All I keep on there is is Notion, my calendar, and Chrome, as those are the apps that I use constantly. I've hit all of the icons on my desktop and downloaded the Chrome extension Momentum so that when I open up a new tab, I'm just seeing a landscape photo rather than any recommended websites. Just these minor tweaks to my work environment has made it a lot easier for me to focus. I of course still get distracted at some point throughout the day, but I recently picked up this pocket notebook and I got it simply to jot down any thought that comes to mind while I work. This is so that I don't have to waste any time looking it up on Google or putting it inside of Notion. Now, also in my office, I do have a separate gaming setup from my workspace. And to be fair, I've never actually found myself gaming instead of working, but it has been nice to keep my PC away from my work desk. If I'm doing any sort of gaming video, that's where I'm testing out new peripherals. I am going to be changing that desk up pretty soon. I have a new 4K OLED monitor coming in for review, so I'm excited about that one. This office isn't perfect though. Because I'm renting, I can't paint the walls and it is quite echoey in here. 
I'm making a few updates to sort of solidify what this space will be, just to make my A-roll filming process a little smoother. Later this year, I'll make a full video going over the YouTube studio, if that's something you guys want to see. Each night, I tend to end work at around 11 or midnight, and then eat dinner. I miss a proper lunch more than I'd like to admit. I do snack throughout the day, but I need to get better at making an actual meal. I'm not good at cooking, so for dinner, I stick to a few very basic meals, but I won't lie, I'm getting pretty good at making barbecue chicken. After I eat, I quickly go up to my whiteboard and write down whatever I have to do the following day. That's pretty much how my days have looked like for the last month. I've been pretty obsessive with getting a video out each week, and honestly, I love it. Saturdays are basically the same, just instead of working my part-time job, during the day it's editing. Sundays definitely are my most chill day. I'll do some planning for the week. Most recently, I've been consuming a lot of content, trying to get some inspiration, but I don't really begin the process for the next video until Monday. I'm nowhere near as productive on Sunday, but I think that's completely fine, as it's sort of the reset day that's much needed after a long week. I have really big plans for this channel and do want to take it full time in the next year. So that's why right now, pretty much all I'm doing with my free time is making these videos. All of you that are still watching are the reason I get to keep making these videos. So I really appreciate it. I cannot wait to keep improving the quality. And as a little sneak peek to the next two videos, we got the S24 Ultra and an upgrade to my PC build. See you next week. Take care.